Well, my name is Marlon Fitzwater, and uh, I'm a farm boy from Kansas, basically. But I came to Washington right out of college, and I wanted to be a journalist, and that didn't work out, so I joined the government instead. Spent some 30 years there, the last 10 of which were in the White House with President Reagan and President Bush. George Haggerty became the new president of Franklin Pierce, and he called me out of the blue and he said, Marlon, I, I just uh, come here, I'd like to see if you're interested in joining the Board of Trustees of the University. A friend who had become a board member, Andy Card, um, had said, uh, I was asking him about new trustees, and he said, uh, what do you think about Marlon Fitzwater? And I was shocked because Marlon was such a big name, and I was shocked that uh, he would suggest him, although I knew that they were friends. And he said, I'll set up a, a luncheon with you. It struck me that, it was, first of all, it's a very informal place, and uh, that the people enjoy themselves, and, and there's a down-to-earth quality about the students here and about what they're up to, and uh, they were having a good time. And they actually thought I could help them. And I, I pretty soon I said, I, I can do something with these kids. We're lucky enough today to have Marlon Fitzwater. At some point, you have to just sit back and think, what is this all about? What does this speech say? What is the central thrust of this speech? What's the message? President Haggerty uh, called and asked if I would meet with him in Washington. He had something he wanted to discuss with me. This was about a year after I'd been on the board. and. I said, sure, but I'm kind of busy. Why don't we just meet at the airport? And uh, he said, okay. So he flew in from Manchester into at Reagan National Airport in Washington. And we met, we went over to the Dunkin' Donuts stand, which is out in the lobby of the, of the airport, and sat down. And I said, well, what can I do for you? And he said, he said well, we want to build a building in your name. Well, Marlon makes it rather humorous. I took it uh, extremely seriously. Uh, how we were going to develop this, but um, we were taking a, a look at a capital campaign. This was early on in my presidency, and it was very clear that we needed to do something uh, about upgrading the library, as well as trying to find an appropriate space for uh, mass communication. And I said, well, George, you know, I don't know, I may be famous from my White House years, but I can't afford to build you a new building. And he said, well, can we use your name? And I said, well, if you don't ruin it. And George said, well, we'll, we'll be careful. George was as good as his word. I didn't, have enough, I didn't build a center, but we got it built. There isn't a student who visits our studios and our control rooms and our editing facilities and our radio booths and so forth that doesn't say these are the best. And I'm very proud of it. When I first heard about Franklin Pierce and looked into it, it, it just seemed to offer for me the size of the institution, the, the majors, the emphasis on the liberal arts, the location, the, the beauty of the natural surroundings, um, all just really fit with what I was imagining my college experience would be like. So I was eager to come to Southern New Hampshire and attend Franklin Pierce, then college. When I was a trustee, uh, I participated in the celebration of the opening of the Fitzwater Center, and um, when I became provost, um, I had a lot of uh, great conversations with the deans and with the director of the Fitzwater Center, Dr. Chris Demevious. I moved here um, right before it was dedicated, and I watched the dedication on TV at home unpacking. I thought that would be so tremendous to be able to work there. It was just fortunate for me that an opening appeared and I was able to come here. And it's been a privilege to work and build programming since then. What's the message that they're trying to get across? When I first got here, we were on, um, everything was standard definition, all the field cameras, all the studio cameras. We had tape to tape VHS editing that I would teach my students, much to their dismay. <laughs> they, I would teach it to them and they would be like, we don't need to know this. And then they'd get a job and need to know it <laughs> and email me and be like, yeah, you know, I made fun of you because you taught me tape to tape editing and I didn't think I needed it. I needed it. <laughs>
What the Chris Forest Center is, is really uh, a haven within the academic home of Franklin Pierce. We have over 140 students who are majors in mass communication. Rich Killian was the director of the Fitzwater Center and Dr. Nevis was the assistant director. Mr. Killian was very focused on the polling. He was in the press a lot, so he was bringing a lot of positive press to the center, which was great. Um, he left after about a year, and then Dr. Nevius was promoted to be the uh, director of the center. When Dr. Nevius came in, she was much more focused on the student experience. When we go to the Republican National Convention, the Democratic National Convention, we go as credentialed media. So we're reporting, we have the same press badges that CNN has, we stand next to ABC, CNN, the Boston Globe, the Boston Herald, and report as credentialed media. The students have always been treated with respect when they've gone out to interview candidates, interview political strategists, campaign workers. But getting those first credentials to the conventions in 08 was just thrilling. Everybody was excited. We're running around doing our Secret Service credentials. And that was just, you know, the beginning. That was, that was good. One of our priorities for all Franklin Pierce University students is for them to engage to engage with their community, to engage with their faculty, to engage with one another, all toward learning. And I think that the Fitzwater Center offers students an immediate opportunity to engage with their learning. So I, I think that's a really valuable contribution to the university experience that our students have. I'll give a, a story. Claire Dew is one of our students who I got to work with freshman year to senior year. When she graduated, she moved out to California. I helped her get in touch with some alums, she got a job, she got a couple jobs right away in advertising, then she got a job on a TV show. When she got her first full-time job offer, she called me up at 10 o'clock at night. She's like, I got the job offer, I got the job offer. She started crying. She said, you know, you guys really believe in us. Um, the Fitzwater Center has really um, impacted my first year. When I was chosen to be a part of the Politics Fitz U team that went to the 2017 presidential inauguration, being a part of that team made me have a great week in Washington, D.C. with a lot of great um, fellow classmates, and we all just had a really good time there. And seeing and being a part of history, it was really memorable, something I'll never forget. Fitzwater Center is what attracted me to Franklin Pierce, and I knew it was something special. I'm a mass comm major, so I was involved, involved with it, but I really started doing it with PMG Digital because my first semester, I didn't have any mass comm classes, and that, I, that one was the one that was most attractive to me. Learning what Luke and all of them have taught me from being the social media operator to graphics to animations. I really did not know how to use a camera, and now I know how to use a camera. That is something I, I think most people don't know and now I know how to do it and it's just it's just a beginning of what it's going to become later down the road. Well what attracted me to Franklin Pierce in general was the Fitzwater Center. Um, when I was in high school I took a journalism class and I really thought that that was the direction that I wanted to go in and so naturally I love the Fitz when I came here and they explained to me about their media program. The Fitz has made me believe more in myself, not only as a writer, but as an individual. Um, I came in, like most freshmen, like scared and not really knowing and kind of like didn't really want to get involved. But then when I started getting involved with the FITS, it really introduced me to new people who changed a lot of my perspectives. And um, I'm forever thankful. <laughs> I originally was Coming into college as a mass communication student, I knew right away I wanted to be a film student. Some of the good educational experiences I've gained from the Fitzwater Center um, must really be the Iowa caucus trip. That was like my favorite. The camera people, I got to meet camera people that were giving me tips on how to film Hillary Clinton and what type of light I should catch on her and all that stuff and interviewing people. And I got so much experience from doing that that I feel like I'm ready to go into the real world with what I learned. I think that, the thing that uh, first attracted me to Franklin Pierce, or the, the Fitzwater Center more or less, uh, was kind of just the student environment, the kind of student-run culture of the PMG, the Pierce Media Group. Um, it was a radio show, I believe, radio show, Four Corners, uh, Marketing, and Raven Sports Network were all kind of, and I believe it was still a t TV station too, were all kind of those, the first, when I was a freshman, 
for the first couple of uh, departments here. And it was kind of student-led and student-orientated uh, run programs. A lot of it was student input. And kind of just knowing that my opinion mattered and a lot of the things, even as a freshman, uh, was really the most attractive part of it. I think another attractive part of it was how hard everyone worked. Um, just kind of seeing the directors before me, so uh, Brett Bosley, uh, Greg Cormier, uh, seeing how hard they worked uh, kind of inspired me to work just as hard in my four years being in RSN. I think the FITS is super special because we really work hard on making sure everyone's included and everyone has a place here. You don't just have to be a communications major or a journalism major or a mass comm major to be involved. I know some people in the PMG units aren't majors that are represented by the FITS and that's okay because anyone can be a part of the FITS. Their experiences are positive and happy. I want these students to look back on their career throughout college and working within the FITS and be like, wow, I was a part of that. I learned real world experience from this place and I'm thankful for that. So that's mainly what I want everyone to take out of the FITS.